Hello. Boom. Okay, so as usual, uh, I'd appreciate a quick like down below uh, if you like these videos and want me to continue doing them, uh, or a love, uh, or a little thumbs up in the comments or a smiley face, let me know you're okay out there, uh, or any feedback or comments is always appreciated. And again, if there's anybody that you feel might benefit from these videos, please feel free to tag them in uh, or share this as well, that would also be great. So, um, the good, the bad, and the hope. So, hope's not a bad thing, um, but there is a slight caveat to that. So I think over the last few weeks, what we've seen is we've seen uh, the best of people, uh, we've seen the worst of people, uh, and we've also seen a lot of hope. Uh, people are hoping that things are gonna end soon. I, mean, I, was, I was out this morning and there was quite a few people out driving, uh, not necessarily um, walking per se, but there was quite a few people out driving. So I think um, we're getting to this phase now of hope that you know things are starting to, things are gonna get better. And hope's not a bad thing. The problem is um, excessive hope can cause problems so for example excessive hope could cause us to get complacent go out make mistakes and make things worse because we could be being you know excessively hopeful that things are going to get better when actually in reality they're not so um there, there is a wonderful concept which is if you um, if you ignore the weeds they take your garden so this is the problem with excessive hope and excessive positivity and positive thinking sometimes it can cloud the reality of the situation if the reality is actually not good in that sense so hope apparently the word hope comes from old english which means confidence in the future so i think basically there's, there's two ways to look at this so first and foremost is yes it's okay to be optimistic i'm, I'm an optimist you know i'm a very much a um, it will be okay in the end and if it's not okay it's not the end type of person um, but I've also learned over the years to have a sprinkling of caution attached to that as well, just in case. Now, if I make it relevant to what I do in terms of weight loss and fitness, I can see a lot of people at the moment are in this place of, oh, I'll get back to this when things get better. But the problem, as we've talked about this week already, is boredom, boredom eating, stress eating, um, people overbuying food because, and I've done this because we're worried about, we don't want to go back to the supermarket because it's too much of a hassle, so we buy more than we need. Um, people trying to use willpower, people with too much time on their hands, um, so they're in the house more, but actually because they're in the house more, they're more likely to eat the junk food they've got in the house because they're in the house more, whereas if they're at work, they wouldn't because they wouldn't be there. So there's all these factors that are contributing to excess weight gain. Um, now, no one's going to, you know, no one should be chastised for putting on a few pounds during this lockdown, because I know I will. Um, but this could go really south, and actually, if, you, if you're too optimistic and you're too hopeful that things will just be okay, you could be 7, 10, 14 pounds heavier, and you don't need to be that. It doesn't need to be that way. I mean, we've proved certainly with our virtual boot camp that we can still keep fit. We can still do, you know, some of these guys are in their 50s. These ladies are in their 50s, and they're doing 7, 8, 9, 10 workouts a week because they're nice, punchy little workouts. Um, they get the job done, effective, um, but they're also sustainable, so we can be consistent. So we can still do it. We can still monitor things and manage things. Just don't be too hopeful. Always have a sprinkle of caution added to that hope as well. So yeah, because that I've said it before. You know, the, the the it will be okay mindset is okay to a point, but you can't keep doing that because eventually it will catch you out. So if you are concerned about your weight and you are concerned about gaining weight and you want to start something now, because I'm telling you now. This lockdown is going to be another four weeks, I would say, personally, being cautious, or at least another four weeks. Then get in touch. Um, if you're all managed between 30 and 50 and you want to get involved in our virtual boot camp, we, we have a free trial starting next week. We have some spaces available. That's 10 workouts. Uh, plus, I'm going to give you a couple of um, exclusive newsletters about how to set weight loss goals you can actually achieve. So from my 15 years of experience, and obviously losing weight myself, stuff you can actually do, so not just fluffy stuff, stuff that's actually practical. So a couple of those newsletters which are free plus these 10 workouts and you can be part of our group for seven days if you want any details on that just comment with um free trial down below and i'll send you the details um if you just want to have a chat about whether we can help you remotely one-to-one -one, uh, i've got my signature uh, lose up to a stone in six weeks program as well which isn't free uh, that's one-to-one -one coaching um again just comment below drop me a message and we can see if we can help if not as always just drop us a like in uh, a love in a comment a thumbs up a smiley face let us know you're doing okay and uh, yeah, let's have, a, let's have a good day and let's, uh, let's all go and give our friends in the NHS a good clap later on tonight. See you later.